School is out for Christmas break and I am super excited. We've basically been going non-stop since May and it's really nice to have a break. Once classes start back up again, I'll only have three more months till I graduate and I am so excited. I'm still working during the day, but it's really nice to have a few nights off. But that wasn't the main thing I was gonna talk about today. In continuing last week's thoughts about the scarcity mindset and how I'm trying to let go of that, I realized that if I'm trying to shed something, then usually I need to replace it with something else. So I'm trying to replace my scarcity mindset with a mindset of abundance. How can I switch from surviving to thriving? How can I switch from scarcity to abundance? And that's a bit of a challenge. I was actually trying to do a little bit of Googling to search how to develop an abundance mindset or how to change from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. And I didn't search very far, but one of the things that came up right away was be grateful for what you have. Even though I know that there's truth to something like that with the idea of, if I have a grateful attitude, then I'll usually feel good. Coming from a scarcity mindset and trying to switch to an abundance mindset involves a lot of nuance and subtle shifts that cliches like be more grateful kind of miss. It's hard because Big feelings are really hard to distill into small words. And so even though the idea of developing a more grateful attitude for the things that I do have, simplifying it to just saying, oh, have an attitude of gratitude, kind of sounds oversimplified and doesn't take into account the many, many steps it takes to actually get to that mindset. One thing I do try to do is I try to see luxury in small things. So for example, something I like to do every once in a while on a Sunday morning. Um, one of my favorite Sunday morning breakfasts is I get an avocado from the grocery store and some bread and I make toast and um, mash up the avocado and some lemon juice and salt. And I have avocado toast with just a fried egg on the side and I make myself a cup of tea. And it feels like such a luxurious breakfast and it's a real treat. But really on a more general sense, just trying to develop that idea of, yes, I will have enough because I've taken care of myself this far and I'm gonna to continue to be okay. And that's kind of hard to embrace. So this is something that I'm really working through and still figuring out and recognizing that going from point A to point B isn't gonna happen overnight. And it's not just going to come from trying to be more grateful. I think it's gonna come from really showing myself gentleness and compassion and making small subtle shifts every day that reassure myself I'm gonna be okay. So that's sort of where my thought process is right now. If you have any thoughts, please feel free to share in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.